Oh boy, people, we got a we got a kind of a cool news update for for the game in preparation for the new war and all of that. We we assumed we wouldn't actually get any more sort of like content drops or whatever until the new war comes out, but they did a thing here which is actually really big. It's really big because they're gonna do a thing that's gonna allow you to get basically almost all uh, vaulted prime warframes. They're coming back to the game. It's rad. So, uh, they have announced that they are going to do a new thing called Prime Resurgence. It's something they're testing to see if this can maybe replace the Prime Vault, because the Prime Vault is getting bloated, or if it's something that can exist sort of like alongside the Prime Vault. We'll see. <clears throat> this is going to be a test, and they're going to take player feedback for what works and what doesn't. Uh, to figure out where they're gonna go with it in the future. So, they're gonna introduce a new NPC uh, in Maru's Bazaar. It's uh, it's a, uh, a female Dax soldier, whatever, who's gonna have a store there. And in her store, she is going to be selling um, relics with, with vaulted primes, vaulted prime relics. Uh, and you buy them with a resource called Aya. And according to the new sort of like just news infographic on their website, it says that you can find them like where, where relics drop or it's a bit mysterious. If you go to the actual forum post where they talk about it some more, uh, what they've said is that they drop from missions in the void, from bounties and from relic packs. So, so that's the information we got right now for the three uh, sort of like ways of collecting this new resource. And you can go in there and to the store and you can buy uh, relics for primed Warframes. And they're going to be on a one week rotation. So every week she's going to be selling different relics for different prime Warframes. Uh, first up is Mag Prime and Nova Prime, which is exciting because Mag Prime is uh, the Prime Warframe that has been vaulted for the longest time. I think Mag Prime has been vaulted for like three years or something, and now you can get Mag Prime again. Isn't that rad? Isn't that cool? You can get Mag Prime, yeah. So they have a schedule up for uh, which weeks you can get different relics for different Warframes, and the final two weeks it's going to be like all of them, all of them, all of them. Um, there's also going to be another version of this currency called Regal Aya, which you can only buy for real money, exactly the same as Platinum. And that is because with this resource, you will be able to buy uh, Prime accessories that were part of those uh, vaulted Warframes back in the day. So... Since those Prime accessories were only ever purchasable with money, you know, through, through Platinum, then now they're still only going to be purchasable for money, for, for like this Regal Aya. So that's, that's cool, I guess. Uh, they're also going to be introducing back like the Prime Noggles that you get for, for purchasing Prime access, that you're going to be able to buy these with Regal Aya as well. Uh, there's no way to farm for Regal Eye in the game, so that is, is, that is purely a money thing. Uh, so if you want the Prime accessories and the Prime Noggle, stuff like that, then you'd have to spend money. Which is fine, because that's how you always got those things. You always had to spend money to get those. Uh, but you can get a bunch of Prime Warframes that have been uh, locked away for a very long time. So this is going to start on November 16th. And it's going to go on for like two months or so. So it's some sometime around like mid-January is when this event is going to end. And just don't stress yourself out over it. Because like you don't, you don't have to open all of the relics right now. You can basically just spend these two months uh, hoarding relics for these vaulted Warframes. And then you can just farm them at your leisure and just crack them open whenever you want to. Um, so, so what's going to happen here? Well, for one, I predict that the <laughs> the marketplace for Prime parts is going to crash pretty hard thanks to this announcement. Um, Mag Prime just went from one of the most expensive Primes to costing absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> so, so that's that's fun. 
worth noting is that once this event ends, this vendor is going to stay there in Maru's Bazaar. She's going to remain there, um, and she's going to have evergreen stuff in the store that you can spend Aya on to, to purchase. But, but there won't be any way of, of getting more Aya. So that's only going to be for people who kind of like have unspent resources through this event that they just didn't spend. Yeah, you're going to be able to go back there and buy some stuff with that. But other than that, the store is going to be dead. It's going to remain in the game, but you won't be able to interact with it. So, like they've said, this is a, this is a test. To see if this is going to be the thing that replaces the Prime Vault. Or if this is going to be something that exists alongside the Prime Vault. So Aya is going to come back at a later point in, in some form. And you're going to be able to interact with that store again in some form. And this is like a pure addition to the game. Which is cool. So they're not taking anything away. They're not changing how anything works that already exists in the game. They're just adding this on top of it. So... New resource that can be farmed in certain missions. You can use that resource to buy relics that would otherwise be vaulted. That's it. And new um, real money currency. So it's going to exist alongside platinum. This thing called Regal Aya. You can use that here. To spend it on this store only. To get what would otherwise be vaulted prime accessories. Or just, you know, outright buying primed Warframes. So if you don't want to farm for them. You can use Regal Aya to just buy these bundles with, with just Prime Warframes and Prime Accessories and all of that. So, so every, every, everything is getting unvaulted, people. Everything. With few exceptions. Like, not Equinox Prime and Wukong Prime because they were just very recently vaulted. Stuff like that. They've been in the game for a long time. Um, and some other Warframes that have very recently just had an, a moment in the sun through unvaultings and stuff like that as well that's the news update it's kind of cool um gives you a new reason to go and, and do relic missions and farm relics because now you can get everything everything is coming out of the prime vault which is which is kind of neat uh let me know what you think about this update let me know what you think about the idea of them introducing a new real world currency into the game how you feel about that um and just you know are, are you gonna are you gonna be in the grind are you gonna spend the next two months harvesting away on on these uh, vaulted prime relics i saw one guy say that like oof a bit worrisome that they say that this is in preparation for the new war and it's gonna run until mid january <laughs> that's like does that mean that New War is no longer going to come out in December. I don't know. No, no, no. They, they would probably say something in that case in, in an upcoming dev stream or whatnot. So far, the message from the devs have been the same. And that is New War is coming out in December. So, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be fine either way, people. Everything's going to be fine. But yeah. Prime Resurgence. Let's let's go hunt for all of them vaulted primes. Let's go, let's go get them. Let's got to catch them all. Yeah.